All right, guys, it's Payne, and uh, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to show you how to uh, basically hook up your old consoles, like this Xbox right here, wirelessly to your router. Uh, there's a couple things you're going to need. One, you're going to need a laptop with uh, wireless capabilities, and also a LAN port right here in the back, if you see that yellow cable right there. And you want to run that yellow cable from your uh, laptop all the way to your Xbox and that's it for step one I'll show you the rest of the steps on the computer alright back on your computer you want to go ahead and click the star button then go to control panel and then you want to go to network and internet from there you want to go to the network and sharing center and on the left hand side you should see change adapter settings go ahead and click that then you should see your wireless adapter right here. That's my uh, SSID for my router that it's connected to right now. And this one right here. If you plugged it into the Xbox or your old game console and it's in your uh, computer right now, then it should say network cable unplugged, which is okay. Now you want to do is go ahead and control click, hold control and click your wireless um, router and your local area connection and right click on one of them and hit bridge connections what this is gonna do is basically gonna create a artificial um, adapter that allows the wireless adapter to um, take in a wireless uh, a wireless connection and pass that on to your Xbox which is doing right now it's identifying and then in your taskbar, if you have your uh, um, Wi-Fi indicator task icon on, it, you should uh, see a, a red X right there. That means that um, you're still connected, but you're not passing on the connection to your Xbox. And the reason for that is, is because my Xbox is turned off right now. So what we're going to do here is turn the Xbox on, basically. And I just hit the button right now and right here you should see that it changed to enabled and bridged and uh, it's going to be identifying and then you should have this little plugin right here and I'm going to show you how to set it up on your Xbox I'll see you over there alright so when you turn on your Xbox it probably won't look like this because I'm running a, a modded Xbox with Xbox Media Center installed as a dashboard but anyways you want to navigate to your settings menu and go over to go over to your network and and if you are I'll, sh I'll show you guys how to um, set it up using the default uh, Xbox dashboard but this is just using um, uh, a modded dashboard with a modded chip and all that but if you use, if you're using Xbox Media Center go ahead and go to this uh, where I went to I went to network the network again and then I just gave myself a static IP address that way it doesn't uh, change every time and this is going to be late this is going to be useful later when you want to um, flash new uh, Xbox dashboards onto your new Xbox and update the firmware and all that when you're going to use a, a FTP client transfer program that's called I'll probably do a video of that later but just give yourself a random uh, static IP. I just use this one, and make sure your net their net mask is a uh, uh, this is that number. You can leave it at that. Default gateway is your router number, and um, I think I believe all these numbers right here come automatically if you do uh, automatic, and then switch it over to manual. Just restart and uh, just switch it over to manual, and just keep those three net mask, default gateway, and DNS server. Then you should be good to test this out. I'm going to go back to the main menu and see right here it says uh, my IP address is that and I'm getting feeds at the bottom uh, from the internet and uh, yeah now I'm going to hop over to uh, the default Xbox dashboard and I see I'll show you guys how to set up your uh, internet connection from there. Alright, I apologize, but I could not find the original Xbox dashboard on my modded Xbox, so I'm going to go with a variant right here. It looks very similar to if you don't have a modded Xbox, 
So uh, it should be pretty simple. All you need to go go to is your uh, system settings, and for me, it's going to be the system. And then you just need to get, uh, navigate to network settings and just set up a random IP address that's not being used by any other device on your router, and you should be good to go. Um, you won't be able to play Xbox Live or anything with this um, because the service shut down a couple of years ago, but um, if you are connecting yourself to a modded uh, Xbox with an active internet connection, you're able to stream music, pictures, videos, and uh, update your Xbox, your modded Xbox, with a more more official firmware and more updated firmware that way if you connect your Xbox in this manner. So this is just a pretty simple tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, just please leave any comments below or send me a message. And this is Pan on 75 and I'll catch you guys later.